one of the highlights of the Greyhound calendar is the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship. This is the 15th year of the series and it's Tasmania's turn to host the national final for the fourth time. $57,000 in stake money is available with qualifying eliminations and finals run in all six Australian states. Victoria and New South Wales each have two representatives in the final with the other states one each. So to the first of the state finals which was held at Harrell Park in New South Wales. State final of the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship, ready. Racing, good start too, one of the best away towards the centre was Laguana Sunrise and Gideon began smartly and Fauna Village are hunting up. Further out, Swift Talent and Glowing Halo are making ground, Fauna Village are dropping back, making ground along the fence, certain remark and Glowing Halo and one came to great, Fauna Village is down, it's badly injured as they sweep into the back straight. The leader is Gideon now, by a couple of lengths in second placing, Swift Talent, so they followed up on the inside then by certain remark, a break then to Glowing Halo eternally and then Laguana Sunrise and Mission Bell and Fawn Villager is out of it. Gideon is still in front, coming to the bend. A length to certain remark, running a bold race, and then Swift Talent and Glowing Halo. It's Gideon still in front. They're trying to get to it. Certain remark. Gideon's finding plenty, and they're not going to get to Gideon. Gideon came away in the last little bit to score by a length and a quarter. Second placing, certain remark. Swift Talent third. Then Glowing Halo. From and both Gideon and certain remark qualify for the national final. The time for 732 metres was 43 and 0.46 of a second. So to the Victorian final, held at Sandown Park. 7.18 the journey. The field is positioned for the Victorian state final of the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship and they're set to go. Racing now, lead roll very slow to begin. Last out, Blakemore the early leader by two lengths settling down from Quick Pulse and Sathine moving up smartly. Hitting the rail there and nearly falling on the first turn was Flying Gwender. It's gone right back to the tail and flat flyer in bother. In the straight, the leader Blakemore getting up along the fence. Quick Pulse almost joining it. Sathine three deep and four lengths then to the gallows. On the outside of it, ten guitars running on and they're broken right away from flat flyer. Lead rolls well back and Flying Gwender last. Down the back and Quick Pulse took the lead but ten guitars is getting right up along the inside. Two lengths to Sathim running on again, followed by Blakemore and then the Gallows and Flat Flyer. On the turn, 10 guitars kicked away by two lengths to Quick Pulse, Sathim and then Blakemore. In the straight, 10 guitars is clear, coming again, Quick Pulse, but 10 guitars is too strong, he's come away. And 10 guitars won it by two and a half lengths. Second place in Quick Pulse, third is tied between Blakemore and Sathim. From Both 10 guitars and Quick Pulse qualified for the national final at 8 to 1, the time 43.79 seconds. The Queensland final held at the Gabba saw the favourite being Jane's replica. Lua rolls 704 metres. Racing and Pewter Frost and War Van with Caramel Candy and Jane's Replica on the fence with a first, first four to hop out. High Monokai began well. Oh gee, there's trouble back in the field. Icy Doe was in trouble with War Van and Sailor Nelson knocked back to the tail. Jane's Replica leads past the judge the first time. Pewter Frost quickly moved to second. A break of three to Caramel Candy, then High Monokai. Four lengths away, Kinatoya from Icy Doe, Sailor Nelson and War Van. Pewter Frost joined Jane's Replica with a lap to run. And Pewter Frost shot to the the front two lengths to Jane's replica a half away high Monokai and then caramel candy but it's Pewter Frost the leader under the turn Jane's replica gone high monokai has gone to second then caramel candy Pewter Frost clear in the straight high Monokai won't pick him up and Pewter Frost goes to Tasmania Pewter Frost beat high Monokai caramel candy ran third then Kinatoya and Pewter Frost starting price at seven to four the time 41.87 seconds for 704 meters in Perth the final was run over 740 meters Away they go and down on the inside, Large Core broke well with Witch's Promise, then caught Honey Soft Angel, got in behind them, out wide was Tat Triumph, a length away further back, then to Kalsian, Leelana's well back in the field with Mel Penny Miss, onto the first bend where Large Core is just in advance of on the outside, Witch's Promise, a length away behind them, then caught Honey going wide, a length further back, then to Tat Triumph and they're followed by Soft Angel, a couple to Leelana winding up, then Kalsian and Mel Penny Miss, into the back they go, and over on the outside, Large Core is just in advance of Tat Triumph, getting up on the inside and Witcher's Promise in the middle Leelana's looking for a run and then came Vet Court Honey on the side and Large Core gets away two lengths but here comes Leelana and then Tat Triumph around the turn Large Core in front, Leelana's down the outside the favourite took the lead and Leelana's striking right away, Leelana wins it easily on Large Core, back behind them third then was Tat Triumph A great performance by Leelana, the 5-4 to four on favourite, the time 44.59 seconds for 740 metres Lure on its way. They're ready the for South the Australian favourite was Maida Lisa. 
They're off. My Delisa jumped out fast, going with it early. Rustic Ginny and My Bonnie Lass is going to head them all off. Out wider, Tindanara Lad. Back in behind them, Vortex Luck on settling down. They're followed by Granusky. Well back to Mora Glen and dropping right out of it, Carbonet Speck. My Bonnie Lass leads by six lengths in the straight the first time over Tindanara Lad. In third place, My Delisa starting a run now. Vortex Luck on the outside. Further back in the field came Rustic Ginny. They're followed after three lengths by Demora Glen. Well back, Granusky and tailed off Carbonet Speck. Down the back, My Bonnie Lass, two and a half lengths to Tindanara Lad coming home well as Vortex Luck. They're four lengths in front of Rustic Ginny and further back My Delisa. They pack up off the back. Vortex Luck joins My Bonnie Lass. Rustic Ginny, My Delisa. Vortex Luck has raced away from them in the straight. Vortex Luck is too good and wins from My Delisa. Third home in the race to Mora Glen. Vortex Luck successful at 14 to 1 with the favourite finishing second and missing out on the trip to Tasmania. The time 44.82 seconds. They're just about set for dispatch now in race six, the state final of the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship. The lights on. Lou Rolling, stand by for a start. Racing General Caper won the start down on the inside. Ligon leader coming across quickly with Tashako and Diamond Speck. Miss Coronet up along the fence and wide goes Sachet Chavot. Gillies jewel to the back, 500 out. And Ligon leader got to the front and led two lengths down the back from Tashako. Three lengths to Diamond Speck. Four lengths to Blue Santa, a half the outside. Sachet Chavot from General Caper. Five lengths, Miss Coronet and Gillies jewel. They leave the back and run to the corner and Ligon leader shot clear. Five lengths in front. Tashako paddling in second. A length and a half to Diamond Speck. Followed by General Caper running on and then Blue Santa, Miss Coronet, Sachet, Chavot and Gillies Jewel. They run for home now and Ligon leaders well clear. Four links in front. General Caper's running on down the outside with Tashako. But Ligon leader for the final wins at two links to Tashako. Two and a half links. General Caper, Miss Coronet ran on for fourth. A good gap. And a convincing display by Ligon leader in the excellent time of 43.86 seconds for the 725 metres. So on St. Patrick's Day in Hobart, the field for the grand final was one the red, ten guitars from Victoria, two the Czech, Gideon, New South Wales, three the white, Vortex Lux, South Australia, four the blue, Leelana, Western Australia, five the yellow, Ligon Leader, Tasmania. Unfortunately, six the brown, Quick Pulse, was withdrawn just a few moments before the race, acting on veterinary advice. Box seven was the black pewter frost from Queensland, and eight the pink, certain remark from New South Wales. Commentator for the national final was Rod Marsh. Light on, Lou Rolling for the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship final set. Racing ten guitars away best with Gideon. Ligon leader charging up to the lead with Peter Frost. Lee Lana certain remark deep and Vortex Luck dropped to the tail. They run to the back. 550 left to go. Ten guitars a length on Ligon leader. Two lengths to Peter Frost. Four lengths away then. Along the fence goes Vortex Luck from certain remark deep on the track. Gideon living ground and Lee Lana last. They're about to leave the back and the Victorian ten guitars a length on Ligon leader who's sticking on for the Peter Frost. Five lengths to certain remark. Follow next in the field by Vortex Luck, Leelana and Gideon. They run to the corner, 10 guitars goes wide. Ligon leader charging through along the inside and Peter Frost running on, but 10 guitars holding Ligon leader close to home and 10 guitars wins the final. One and a quarter lengths to Ligon leader. A length and a half away, third was Peter Frost, followed in by Vortex Luck, Leelana, certain remark and a long last was Gideon. 43.91 is the time and Victoria has taken out the 1983 Arnott Harper National Distance Championship Grand Final. There's the all clear on the Arnott Harper National Distance Championship Grand Final, all clear. And uh, into the back uh, straight ten guitars, led about a length and a half on Ligon leader. Pewter Frost was about four off third and they got right away from the rest of the field. And uh, it was left to Ligon Leader who brought the house down when he started to move up on the inside of 10 guitars out of the back straight, got about a half length off, lost the ground again coming to the corner when 10 guitars uh, went a little wide. He was still about two in front and for one fleeting moment it looked like a hometown win with Ligon Leader driving up on the fence. He again got to an in about three quarters of a length but 10 guitars has just outstayed him in the last 30 or 40 metres to win by about a length and a quarter. The winner of the 1983 Arnott Harper National Distance Championship, 10 guitars from Victoria, owned and trained by Ted Lovelace. With that victory, of course, goes a cheque for $15,000 plus this magnificent trophy. So a happy night for the Lovelace family and for 10 Guitars who makes it 11 wins out of 15 for Victoria in the National Distance Championship. 
and it smiles all round.